How did the State of the Union Sadu speech by President Biden go according to you? Watch it on C-SPAN if you haven't watched it yet. Don't listen to pundits. Watch it uncut and see Biden for yourself www.vote.gov edit C-SPAN link colon www.youtube.com live 7 v 0 1 qvl kelsey equals r 0 qfq 4 again hgjjm The rebuttal by Katie Britt was epic. It was like a Stephen King demon trying to reassure everyone she was human and not going to eat your liver when you fall asleep. Not being American, I'm not going to watch the entire thing. Still, maybe an interesting perspective for you guys. My Dutch newspaper was rather positive calling him fiery, clear-headed, passionate and combative. I'm not an anxious person, but I found myself nervously thinking, PLZ don't screw this up my guy. He did well to mention that at one point he was called too young for the Senate. I had not heard him use that retort, but I thought it projected strength into one of his biggest weaknesses. I was told Biden was a doddering old man, unable to string a sentence together. I want my money back. Rope a dope. After the commentary of the last month, I thought he would get lost on the way to the podium and not be able to put words together. Instead Dark Brandon showed up with a flamethrower. And for nice contrast, it was followed by Katie Britt in the weirdest political video I think I have ever seen. To summarize, looks like this old man has still got it. ID actually started to worry that the voices like Ezra Klein were right. That he was hiding his head declined too much to campaign. Holy shit that guy brought it. They was the rhetorical equivalent of floating like a butterfly and stinging like a bee. Dude fucking killed it. Dot even did crowd work and functionally called Republicans disingenuous idiots to their face. I know you can read fucking died. It was good. He did great. Even went back and forth with the some hecklers and stayed with it. I could only hope him that coherent when him his age. The rebuttal was comically a woman in a kitchen reading a teleprompter looking like a B-level actress, giving zero policy addresses, and just instilling fear while trying G to ignore the Trumpers killed a border deal. The Supreme Court looked like a bunch of dumbfucks. Even though I'm very much anti-Trump MAGA, and I will vote for Biden again, I sometimes forget he's not the senile old man so many memes and media make him out to be. Tonight was a nice reminder of who he is. Biden was too loud, too rude, and relentlessly political. Republicans, who support the loudest, rudest, and most relentlessly political candidate ever. He did fine. Completely normal presidential tenor and content from the pulpit. Coherent, politically correct, confident. It was nice to listen to a speech and hear solid leadership. Reassuring. I was very apprehensive that this was going to, in any way, make him look good. To my surprise he did the best sadhu of his presidency. For the first time, I'm feeling more confident in my decision in voting for him. Let's be honest it's about the people he surrounds himself with, and I can't deny his cabinet has kept the country afloat when he was handed a shit sandwich. To be clear I am not his super fan, but I am very concerned this country is pouring attention into psychos like the NC Gov that was just elected, and all these other far-right extremists that just yell, capitalize on fear, and attract attention which attracts Votessa Biden better keep it together this year. It's great to once again have a president that can finish a sentence on the same train of thought he began it with heck, even just finish a full sentence. It was the moment that utterly and definitively slayed any Biden is too old as dimension narratives. No he isn't. No he doesn't. Tonight every major news organization is scrambling to grasp at Biden has too much earwax. Here's why that's bad for Biden straws next, because they've got nothing else after that Satu. It will also be remembered not only for how damn good it was, but how completely bizarre and out of touch the Republican rebuttal was afterwards. Seriously? Sending Karen to the kitchen and having her whine about her feelings? I could almost believe it was deliberate sabotage because nothing else makes sense. I thought he did great. I think the mugga tantrum is telling. He killed it and they are pissed about it. I liked it, I went into thinking my man is going to be old and boring. Instead he came out swinging and I ended with being pumped to fight to fascists. I think the president made a great speech made strong points supporting his progress thus far, spoke strongly about what still needs to be done, didn't seem sleepy to me, 